Kishu family live in a small village in Kenya, East Africa. Mum, Dad and their seven children share their home with a variety of farmyard animals. They live just 20 miles from the capital, Nairobi. But like most people living in the countryside, the family don't have running water. Their day begins at sunrise and getting the younger children ready for school. Each child has to carry their own water to school for washing and drinking. <laughs> Margaret and Ruth are the oldest girls and they stay at home to help their mother. Most days, I'm busy doing stuff around the house. I have to get water, wash clothes, wash dishes, do the cooking. Most jobs around the house need water, but there aren't any taps in the Dishu house. We get our water from the local river. We have to go down there three times a day, and we carry a 20-litre container each. We use water for pretty much everything, drinking, washing ourselves, washing clothes and dishes, feeding the animals. The river is a 20-minute walk away, and the whole journey takes an hour. Today, Margaret and Ruth are getting help from their cousin. But usually, fetching water is the work of women and girls. Going to the river can be dangerous. Sometimes there are hippos down there. If you see a hippo when you get to the river, you have to forget the water and run for your life. Drought can be a problem in some parts of Kenya, but here the river never runs dry. The main problem the family face is that the water isn't clean. In 2005, I got typhoid from drinking dirty water. I was sick for about a month, and my dad had to spend a lot on medicine. To avoid disease, the water needs to be boiled before drinking, but this doesn't always happen. Typhoid is very common here, and people get other diseases from the water, like cholera. 